Hey there, ladies. My name is Jen Neeset, and I am your Slay Sister speaker for today. Now, my topic today is a fairly large one. I have the task and the pleasure of sharing a bit about visualization with you all. Now, you guys, this is a huge topic. In fact, Susanna has taught many week-long courses or groups on visualization. And I'm about to try to narrow that all down and fit it into about a five to second, five to seven minute video. <laughs> so be sure that this is just the tip of the iceberg, but I'm gonna do my very best to help you rein in on this particular habit. And if you're not doing it, to encourage you to help show you that this really you can if you can harness the power of visualization you will see change and action in your life visualization is one of the daily habits that many of us in the slay sister community have committed to for just that reason so i'm going to share with you a little bit of my personal story about visualization but be prepared for this to be an actionable video i'm going to encourage you to get pen and paper and to actually take some notes and i challenge you to give this visualization strategy and activity a try so my story kind of begins long 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 time ago i have grown up running ran from about the age of seven ran through middle school and high school and off into college as an athlete, I was taught visualization for athletic performance. So many of you maybe can relate to that. Laying in bed the night or two or three before your big race, that you should visualize what that perfect race would look like. Maybe you visualize yourself overcoming the, the struggles of the race, how you would feel pushing yourself, crossing the finish line, all of those things bringing yourself to victory. That was my instruction and my understanding of visualization prior to learning this particular technique from Susanna in about the earlier part of this year. So you guys, I'm new. I'm a newbie to this. And the fact that I signed up for this share should tell you that I feel passionate to teach it because it was such a game changer for me. And even though it's only been a short period of time that I've been practicing this technique, I definitely have seen the movement in my life. The problem arose around four and a half years or so ago, I started a health coaching business. When I did that, I recognized the need for me to work on my own self. And that's called personal development. Many of you guys have probably already done that if you're in this group, right? And I read a book called Miracle Morning. I loved that book for many reasons, but it gave me a specific and intentional way to start my day with visualization being one of them, the habits that are necessary to, to, to take control of your day. I got all of the other ones. I understood what every other lifesaver was all about, but visualization left me feeling stuck. Like, what am I supposed to be visualizing, right? Okay, so I have these goals that I set for my life. Am I supposed to visualize what, what it's going to look like when I'm sitting on my back deck with a hot tub and a pool? Am I supposed to visualize taking this trip with my kids and what that's going to feel like? And I remember telling Susanna specifically, like, I don't understand what I'm supposed to be visualizing. And if I visualize that, how does it help me get that? <laughs> right? And so it was this particular method that I'm going to share with you that is the game changer and the revolution in my life to, to taking action. So here's what I'm going to suggest that you do. Goal setting is important, right? That's one ha healthy habit that we're taught in our life, like we should set goals. But one thing that you have to do before that, and just bear with me because you have to follow and trust the process, goal setting is important. But in order to make sure that you've set the right goals in your life, you have to take a deeper dive and a harder look at the 10 key areas of your life. So get out that piece of paper, blank piece of paper, and you're going to write down these 10 areas of your life. And you're going to need to allow some space for you to answer these questions, okay, or to, to actually comment in these areas. 
This is where you actually need to start, ladies. You have to look at these areas. Number one is personal growth. Two is spirituality. Three, friends and family. Four is finances. Five is romance. Six is hobbies. Seven is your surroundings. Eight is your mental well-being. Nine is your physical health. And 10 is your work and purpose. Now that is not in any particular order. Once you have those top 10 in areas of your life written down, you're going to give yourself a grade. You're going to grade your personal current level of satisfaction, one being very unsatisfied with 10 being couldn't get any better than this. You're going to rate those areas and you're going to actually write down why. Why you are rating yourself either high or low in that area. What emotions and feelings and it and don't sugarcoat it. <laughs> don't judge yourself. You know, no one's going to look at it, but this you have to be honest with yourself because you're going to use those areas of your life to set goals that match up with elevating those particular areas of your life. And that is where you're going to start to visualize. Are you with me? If not, it's fine. Ask questions, but just trust the process first. So push pause if you need to, or come back to this later, but don't skip this step. Rate those 10 areas of your life. Then you can work to make sure your goals align with those priorities. And then we're gonna start visualizing. We're gonna visualize in the area this week that you scored the lowest. And you can revisit this activity every week if you'd like. You can revisit your goals once a month if you choose. But for now, we're gonna start small and we're gonna start in the area that you need to focus on to increase the lowest graded area of your life. Now, this is where the magic happens, ladies you're going to get out a piece of paper and we are gonna visualize in a very specific way. Why do you need a piece of paper? Because we are gonna visualize by way of journaling. I know, I know, but it is actually going to blow your mind. So you have your key areas of your life you're gonna pick the lowest area, and I'll be honest with you, when I did this the first time, my environment, I scored the lowest. That is a very easy example for me to share with you. Let's say that's the case. I'm gonna walk you through an example about how to visualize your surroundings in order to see change and to elevate that number. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take out, this is my, this is my Slay Sister journal. <laughs> And you're going to open it up. You just plant blank pages. And you're going to write down the five senses. See, touch, hear, smell, and taste. And you're going to give yourself space in between. What you're going to do, ladies, is you're going to write down specifics. What would it take for me to see in my life? What do I see myself doing? Actionable steps. What do I see myself doing in order to improve my surroundings and how I feel about my surroundings? What do I hear as I am working to improve the level of satisfaction I feel with my surroundings? What do I smell? Cleaning solution? Bleach? Lysol? <laughs> what am I touching? What literal physical things am I touching? And the last one is tasting. And that one's a little bit funny. Tasting always strikes me a little funny. But to be honest with you, a lot of times for me, what I use for tasting is the smell of and the taste of my morning coffee, which motivates me to movement and gets me started towards my day. So that, in order to stay as brief as possible, which I've already gone a little too long. That in a nutshell is the physical activity of visualizing actionable steps that you can see, touch, taste, feel, and smell, and how that will move you to action and how that makes you 
feel better in that particular area of your life. I encourage you to give this activity a try today. I encourage you to commit to it for a week. I, I implore you to ask questions because there will be many. And I promise you that if you will do this particular technique, if it speaks to you, you will actually literally take action because you are putting out into the universe the action steps that you need to take to help you reach those goals that will be in line with your priorities. I hope that makes sense. Please ask questions to help us clarify. And we are so thankful that you are here.